and it's really that easy. 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 Straightforward. Easy. Clever. Simple. Tight. Easy. Easy. Easier. Simple. Basic. Just like that. And easy. 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 Seeing a British reality TV show isn't so common, but the Wheeler's Dealers proved that assertion wrong. The show was originally produced by Attaboy TV for the Discovery Channel in the UK and for Motor Trend in the United States. The show is hosted by Mike Brewer and top mechanic Ann Anstead before being replaced by Mark Priestley. Just like other automobile theme shows, Wheeler's Dealers revolved around saving old cars by repairing and selling them. While the reason behind Ant's absence is very very much clear to all of fans, it's been a while since they heard from him. What really happened to Ant Anstead? Let's get into the full details. But am I a schmoozer? If I am, I'm not a very good one. Oh, yes you are. Born Anthony Richard Anstead in March 1979, Ant has proven himself as an English television presenter, motor specialist, car builder, designer, and artist. Born in Plymouth, Devon, England, he lived in Ellie, Cambridgeshire until the age of 10, then moved with his family to Hertfordshire and schooled at Richard Hale Hertford and then attended the nearby Haleybury School to complete its A-levels. After completing his education, Ant started his own TV production company in 2014, producing his own show, The World's Most Expensive Cars. Luck found Ant when he was approached to co-present the Channel 4 automotive show For the Love of Cars with Philip Glenister. That was all he needed to step into the limelight. Since his role on the show, Ant has hosted a number of television shows, and in 2015, he hosted BBC Two's live show Building Cars Live, alongside James May and Kate Humble. Ant kept polishing his skills with his TV shows, Master Mechanic in the show, Ant uses a variety of components, from spare parts to donor cars, to hand build a homage to the Alfa Romeo 158. The show sees Ant work with a variety of automotive personalities and experts in the field. In 2017, Ant took over the role of a mechanic on Wheeler Dealers from Ed China, a role which saw him become a fan favorite over the years before he quit and former Formula One mechanic Mark Priestley took over for him. The reason he left the show wasn't far-fetched as he cleared the air before his fans would start conspiracy theories about its disappearance. Wheeler Dealers had been filming in California and would return to the United Kingdom after six years. He wrote on his Instagram page, My time on Wheeler Dealers has come to an end as the show heads back to the UK. I proudly hand the spanner over to the legend Mark Priestley and I remain home in California to embark on three new TV shows. Thank you to all those car fans and non-car fans for the years of support and banter. I am incredibly proud of what we achieved. It's been a ride." And also teases fans that he would be sharing top secret news on his Instagram profile soon. Anthony, who made sure he cleared all that could lead to speculations after his time on the show, also revealed that the reason that he's leaving Wheeler's Dealers is that he has made California home and recently had a baby. He teased that he would be working on a new car show soon and would be traveling between the United States and the United Kingdom. News of Ant's departure from the show comes as he continues to heal from his split from his wife, Christina. The reality show personality recently opened up about how he has found comfort in a breakup recovery program. He posted on his Instagram, I am now on day 30 of this, and I have to say it's been a lifeline for me. If anyone else out there needs this, do it. Ant also revealed that he had previously joined a prayer group. As a public figure, it must be difficult to go through a breakup in front of the world stage. Following the announcement of his split, people started sending all types of messages to him on social media, which prompted him to disable the comments on the post. While we both appreciate words of support, please stop trying to diagnose from afar. It's not fair. Christina is fine, I am fine, and we remain good friends and will navigate this at our pace. Compassion and kindness are all that's needed. Honestly, fans have to take it easy with their favorites whenever they are in some kind of issue, either family or work. Imagine recovering from a breakup only to be bombarded with negative comments on social media. This is the reason why so many celebrities prefer a private life. Fans can't attack them on what they have no knowledge about. The silver lining in this matter is that Ant promised to return to TV soon after leaving Wheeler Dealers. 
Prior to the couple split, HGTV's Christina on the Coast had also been filming when the show star announced their separation. The dispute then was whether the show would mention their marital woes as the program is focused on interior design. Although there have been speculations about who made the difficult decision between Ant and Christina, and both parties have refused to answer all questions thrown at them concerning the issue. However, a reliable report has it that Christina was the one who made the decision to split from her husband. Christina had only been married to Ant for less than two years. Reaching the conclusion of ending a relationship weighs heavily on everyone involved, and Christina just had to do it. The duo has a son together, so it's understandable that making the decision to split wasn't an easy one. Ant wasn't the only one that received backlash from the public. Christina did as well, and at a point, we all had to speculate that the fans of Ant were the ones attacking Christina, while Christina's fans were also attacking Ant. Christina later announced their divorce on Instagram. Ant and I have made the difficult decision to separate. We are grateful for each other, and as always, our children will remain our priority. We appreciate your support and ask for privacy for our family and us as we navigate the future. For those of you who don't know me or think you know me, let me introduce myself. I hate crowds. I love traveling, all things spiritual, the ocean, and deep one-on-one -on -one conversations. I never thought about being on TV. I want to be a sports agent like Jerry Maguire. TV changed my life, and I am grateful for the life it's provided, the experiences, and the friends I've made along the way. Sometimes, our calling is bigger than our plans. I never thought I would have one divorce, let alone two. I never thought I would have two baby daddies, but sometimes, life throws us curveballs. Instead of getting stuck in these setbacks, I choose to look at these challenges and continue to grow. So, while some may judge me and say trash about me, most of you support me, and that says a lot about this world and where we're headed. I'm messy, I'm real, and I'm working on healing. I'm surrounded by extremely powerful women who help me cope, build me up, and push me to be better. She ended her post with, we are all a work in progress. The backlash from fans who seem to have opinions over everyone's life is insensitive. While Ant disabled the comment section, Christina chose to lecture the trolls. She didn't want the hate to consume her. When you're officially done playing the game, we all have a choice. Choose the one that makes you feel good. I've always loved the ocean and find it relaxing. To me, this is peace and perfection. In an Instagram story around 2021, Ant shared that he signed a new TV contract with Discovery. When people reached out to the network for more information, a representative for the station stated that they currently could not divulge any further details. This could mean Ant is gradually making his way back to the screen after his spell with Wheeler Dealers. Whatever the reason may be, Ant remains a reality TV darling who is versatile. He features in all kinds of shows. He was also featured on his ex-wife Christina Hack's show, Christina on the Coast. After Ant left the show, some rumors were going around that Mike Brewer and Ant were not on talking terms. While rumors could come out true at times, the issues of dispute between Mike and Ant are untrue. Mike Brewer and Ant Anstead remain good friends since Ant's departure from Wheeler Dealers. Ant's decision to leave the show was not a matter of unhappiness or distrust in Mike or the production company. It simply came down to logistics. Leaving the United States to the United Kingdom every week isn't as easy as many think. Also, he explained that he has a child to spend time with. Irrespective of what rumors bearers say, there will always be good memories between Mike and Ant working together on the show. For instance, Ant helped Mike to make the biggest profit in Wheeler Dealer's history. Also, Ant's continued commitment to his friendship with Mike shows his willingness to make special appearances on Wheeler Dealers. For many who wish to see more of Ant's expertise on the TV, he is expected to pop up in episodes here and there when he travels back to the UK, and that is precisely what we want. Or don't you wish to see more of Ant on Wheeler Dealers?